So now that we've uh, we've explored all the teeth, I didn't get any major pockets, anything that we're going to put him on any antibiotics or anything like that. There's no uh, there's no motion in any of these teeth. Everything looks pretty healthy. So I'm just going to go around this uh, and, and scale subgingivally and just kind of checking these these surfaces of teeth for any loose or, or kind of resistance that would indicate that tartar is still there on the on the enamel. So anywhere there's little tartar left. That tartar is just going to form that much quicker because it's not a smooth, slick surface. Uh, when we're done scaling, we'll polish the teeth to provide a good, uh, clean, smooth surface that's difficult for bacteria and plaque to adhere to. And that prevents that tartar from coming back that much faster. So if we don't have a good, clean surface, though, it can come back really rapidly. So we just make sure that we're thorough in this, this part of it. And with that ultrasonic, you just can't get the feel. You can't feel that tartar like you can with hand instruments. So I always go back and uh, a lot of times I can pick them up with my Explore probe. I can feel a little grit that's left on the teeth after the, the ultrasonic. But uh, there's nothing to be, there's no substitute for going and checking with the hand skillet. He's a big dog. I gotta kind of manipulate his head around. There's still crud coming out from underneath those two, those two teeth right there. Even the ultrasonic had difficulty getting that stuff out of there. So, no way you're gonna do that without anesthesia. There's just no way that you can get that stuff. And if our goal is to prevent the tooth loss, we've got to prevent periodontal disease. And the first step of causing periodontal disease is that tartar formation. So we've got to prevent that stuff from building up. When that gingivitis sets in, you've already got some uh, insult to the periodontal ligament. You can assume that that periodontal ligament is getting just getting barraged with infection and inflammation. And so it's very important to prevent these kind of issues. Get a little bit of blood there. Just just mild manipulation of that gum cause that bleeding. And that's pretty typical to get some bleeding because these guys can't floss like we we're supposed to. Sarah did a really good job with that scaler. I'm not getting a lot of a lot of excess tartar that was left on this stuff. A lot of the stuff can just be washed off with a little bit of water. A little bit of grit there on there. Good. Awesome. Okay, I see a little bit. I'm gonna go with my sharp scaler. Above the gum line, I can use a little bit sharper instrument to get down in these crags and crevices, make sure I get all this tartar off. Okay, so after we've scaled, what can happen with the scaling instruments? Um, as we probe and as we move around, we can create little micro scratches in the enamel, things that you can't even see or feel. Um, so what we want to do after we get all that tartar off and we clean those teeth completely is we'll go back through with a polishing compound and a high speed polisher or low speed polisher and we'll, we'll smooth any of those micro scratches down and we'll polish it out just like buffing a, buffing a scratch out of a car essentially, a uh, car finish. We're just going to really, really smooth those teeth down and that'll, that'll prevent that tartar from building up that much faster. Sarah's going to move through. All everywhere we scaled, she's gonna polish. <laughs>